private citizens they're maligning. And McCrory really ought to be ashamed. This is his legacy. His, this is his final act as a governor. He is trying to undercut and damage the, the electoral system of our state and impugning the integrity of, of lots of citizens, including Republicans. I mean, there's, you know, there's a guy, and I'm, I'm going through this list. Here's a young 22-year-old white Republican male who is, um, uh, you know, his, uh, his middle name is Marshall, and there's somebody with his, uh, the person who's a felon, his middle name is Martin. Um, this guy is innocent, he, and he's now been publicly accused of being a felon and voting. Are you surprised that there's not more, uh, there aren't more Republicans and, and nonpartisan people who, I know Democracy North Carolina is playing a role in others, but it seems at some point there would be some growing momentum to call on the governor to get his campaign to stop doing this. It's reached the breaking point. As people are looking into these protests and how frivolous this is and, and slanderous and negligent, it's really, it's this is gross negligence, and he is opening himself to litigation. I think he's got to take responsibility that if this is the path he wants to take he, to get into the General Assembly, he might wind up in the wrong place. I think uh, more people are going to be saying it's time for him to move on.